another transaction. Akshay owed 25,000 to Basu. Akshay becomes insolvent. Akshay becomes insolvent means he is not in a position to meet his liabilities. Basu got a computer valuing 11,500 in his full settlement. Journal entry to be passed in the books of Basu. So what happens in the books of Basu? The, the options have been given to us A, B, C, D. Let us, let, let us decide, let us think, analyze what our entry should be, what the entry should be in the books of Basu. In the books of Basu, Akshay is actually an asset, a receivable, right? He owed off 25,000. But now what happens? He becomes an insolvent, so he is not going to pay. But he, but he, Akshay, gives a computer value of 11,500 in full settlement, full settlement. So Akshay, asset receivable, is going to come down by the entire 25,000. In exchange, we will get a computer, which is also an asset, increase in an asset by 11,500. And what happens to the balance? 13,500. Balance 13,500 is lost. It is a loss. It is an expense. What is that expense called? We discuss. It's called bad debt. What is this? A loss or expense account that is increased an amount of 13,500. So what is our entry now? Increase in asset debit increase in expense debit so computer account debit 11500 bad debt account debit 13500 akshay account asset comes down so credit credit 25000 so let us see this is not the first option second option seems to be the correct one Computer account debit 11500, bad debt debit 13500 to a share 25000. This is not right. There's no purchase. So, this option B is our correct option. Correct answer option B computer debit 11500, bad debt debit 13500 to a share 25000. One more transaction. Discount is allowed by Arun to Varun. Which of the following should be the course of action in the books of Arun? In the books of Arun. Arun is allowing the discount. Therefore, it is a loss for Arun. Uh, Arun is allowing the discount. Therefore, it is an expense for Arun. Arun has to receive payment. He will receive something less. So, it is a loss for him. If it's a loss, if it is an expense, discount allowed must be debited in the books of Arun. So let us see what will Arun do in his books. He will debit discount allowed and credit Varun account. Option 1 is correct. Option 1 should be correct. Option A, discount allowed account debit to Varun. What would be the entry in the books of Varun? This is correct in the books of Arun. What do you think would be the entry in the books of Varun? Now discount is allowed by Arun to Varun. So far, as far as Varun is concerned, it's a discount received for him. If it's discount received, discount received is an income will be credited. Therefore, what will be debited? Arun's account would be debited. So, this would be the entry in the books of Varun. Discount allowed, expense, discount received, income. <clears throat> Furniture of book value of 20,000 was sold for 6,000. 
New furniture of twenty thousand was purchased. The amount debited towards purchase of new furniture will be a fourteen thousand, b twenty nine thousand, c five thousand, and d twenty thousand. When furniture of book value of twenty thousand is sold for six thousand, this is one transaction. New furniture of twenty thousand is purchased. This is a second transaction. We will pass two entries. Let us not try to combine these two entries. The furniture being sold is different. The furniture being bought is different. So amount debited towards purchase of new. We'll do that. We'll just pass the two entries. Furniture of book value twenty thousand is sold for six thousand. So what is the entry for that? Let us say you get cash. Yeah, cash comes in for six thousand. But two furniture, furniture goes out, decrease in asset, worth twenty thousand. What is the difference? Difference is loss on sale of furniture. Loss should be debited. Loss on sale of furniture, fourteen thousand. So what is our entry? Cash debit six thousand. Loss on sale of furniture debit fourteen thousand. Two furniture. Twenty thousand. This is the first entry. One purchase of oh, sorry sale of old furniture. Asset goes out. Credit cash comes in. Debit loss. Debit. <clears throat> Next purchasing new furniture. Furniture account debit. Increase in asset to cash. Decrease in asset. Twenty thousand furniture debit. Cash decrease. Twenty thousand. So the amount debited towards new furniture is going to be full twenty thousand. This is entry two.